Have you ever heard about blackout poetry? If no, watch this video. If yes, watch this video as well, <laughs> because I would like to show you a way how you can find really unique and wonderful quotes for your junk journal projects using the idea of blackout poetry. Hi there, this is Luisa Heinzel. Welcome to my channel Junk Journal Art. Nice to see you here. Today I would like to finish this card that's part of the Blind Date Journal project with Susanne from Bollenhut Art. If you've never heard about the Blind Date Journal project, then please check out the info box. There's a whole playlist with every video that we both have published within this collaboration so that you can uh, watch what you perhaps have missed. Yesterday I've made this card and this card is my result for the main course that Susanne wants me to create for this third um, blind date menu. So um, I had to make a journaling card that has decorative embroidery and nature colors. I think I could take this, put it into her journal, and then I would be finished. <laughs> and I have to say, I'm really happy with this card in the meantime. If you have seen the video yesterday and my struggling with this card, then perhaps you <laughs> you know why I'm happy with this card. I'm really satisfied how this came out. But I want to add a quote to my card today um, in a very special way using the idea of blackout poetry. I also want to back this card because this looks a little bit strange. Um, and then I would like to find a way to include this card into Susanna's blind date journal. That's already really, really bulky, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. We have to find a way to include the card into the journal. So um, let's first start with the background of this thing because I think that's a very easy thing and really easy to do. So I have chosen um, these tags from 49 Dragonflies online shop. These are called um, Vintage Tags Large. There are eight of those wonderful tags. <coughs> oh, excuse me, please. In this set so if you want to check that out please check out the info box the link is down below uh, to Barbara's shop so that you can check that out and um, get those tags for your own junk journal projects if you want and um, I would like to yeah follow an idea that Susanne had the other day she has made a tag um, in one of the other blind day journal videos Oops, sorry um, and she has backed her tag in a really interesting way it's this one here so um, as you can see she has the same tags that I have chosen from Barbara's shop here on her tag and um, she has uh, made a really neutral neutral <laughs> back side but here on the front she has used the tags um, and she has just glued them down and I'm so impressed by this I would say really simple collage but it's so beautiful and I really like this effect um, how those tags look and um, I would like to try this method for the back of my journaling card um, so I'm just uh, cutting these tags out. Okay, so let's see. I think this would be great here. I think I want to have those music things here. And now I have really small space here and here um, because the proportion of my card and the proportion of the tag uh, tags is a little bit different than on Susanna's project, but that's no problem. Let's just take this tag and cut that in half and then I will put one piece here and the other piece here. And what I also have here on my desk is this paper. You know that from yesterday. Um, in yesterday's video I have shown you how I made that 
and um, this is also the paper that I have used to make the frame around my tag here and I thought why not using parts of this um, to make this whole collage a little bit more interesting. Okay, so everything is glued down and I've also sewn around here with a straight stitch that you also of course can see on the front side. It's really tiny, but I think it makes the fr even the front side a little bit more um, interesting and the frame gets really sturdy with the stitching as well, of course. Now I would like to take some white gesso to <clears throat> bring this pattern of the tags a little bit to the background. And because this journaling card will go into Susanna's journal, of course I would like to do something that she would like or that she would also do. So I'm taking this art crayon here that's from Marabu. It's a water-soluble oil crayon and I'm just going around here in a really rough and crunchy way and perhaps we can use some water as well um, to smear that around. And I'm not only doing that because Susanne would like it, I mean why shall I do it? Only because the Susanna would like it. <laughs> but I'm also doing that because we have this black frame of the card on the front side. So I think that would match really well with the other side. So I am just going around really roughly and then I'm smearing that with my finger. In my room here it's um, really cold at the moment. It's early in the morning and my gas heater needs a little bit of time to heat up my room. That's a normal thing for me here on, on the campsite where I'm living. Um, but uh, if your fingers are warm then you can smear that around really easily also without water. But you can also put a little bit of water to your uh, to a piece of paper or your, to your palette or wherever you want to put it and then just smear it around with a little bit of water that helps to um, yeah, make this easier. And I am trying to do this a little bit more rough than I would do it for my own journal project because I want to show the Susanne that I'm watching her videos and I'm listening to her <laughs> and she would do it in a really rough way and it's sometimes a little bit hard for me to do that because yeah it's so strange it's something that I normally uh, yeah, probably would not do but of course we would also like to try out some new things and we want to learn from each other so why not trying something different okay so that's great could be a little bit darker here oh my goodness <laughs> a little bit weird that feels a little bit weird I have to say but I think she will like that and I think we could also um, add some golden splatters to this thing um, or, ooh, I think we will use this little shit here. <laughs> this is a mixture of, um, uh, of coffee and uh, what else is in here? Coffee, um, some gel medium. You can use any other glue as well, of course. Uh, some gesso and I don't know. <laughs> it's brown. Oh my goodness, that was perhaps a little bit too much. No, that's Bollenhut style. Let's try to, to <laughs> let's try to live with that. Oh my goodness. So I want to have 
um, this area here like a decoration so that we can write something here we or she or whoever um, perhaps I will also need this space later for the rest of my quote I don't know um, until now how long my quote will be because I don't know what my quote will be uh, yeah you will you will hear about that in a second and um, perhaps I need this space um, for the second part of my quote so yeah I will leave it here and if I don't need it she can use it for journaling or for whatever she wants to do so let's add some gold as well and I really like the effect when this is mixing up and now those splatters are on my book page scraps here and here and here in the background and with this splattering I have more dimension I can bring um, that back to the foreground a little bit Okay, so here we go. This looks really, really cool. I think I really love this effect. And I'm really hoping that Susanna will like that as well. Okay, so then we can go to uh, back to the front. I have some leftover space here and there on my card that I want to use for the quote now. And normally when I need a quote for a journaling card, for example, I would just take my box of quotes. I have a whole box with cutouts from magazines, books or digital printables. And I would just go through it and search for a matching quote or sentiment and then I would put it to my card. But today I would like to try something that's a little bit different than what I would normally do. And this idea came to my mind by coincidence yesterday. Um, perhaps you have seen my video of yesterday where I have told you about the disaster of my journaling card that I've tried to make for my German video. Um, and I was so angry because my result was so not satisfying for me. I was totally angry and then it happened that I crumpled up my card. I have shown you a photo yesterday of this card and I will show it to you today as well because um, this photo has to do with this method that I want to try out today. I've crumpled up the card, took the photo and then I um, sent the photo to Susanne with the message um, this is the main course of the blind date menu <laughs> and you will find this in your journal. I just wanted to make a little joke um, but when I sent the photo I suddenly realized that I can read some of the words on the book page as you can see I've put this crumbled card to a book page and there on the bottom you can read some words and suddenly I realized that on this book page and it was coincidence that I have used that book page especially that book page I, I haven't read anything on that book page before of course because I used it to protect my paper and to splatter some things on it and suddenly I could read some German sentences like was tust du hier that means what are you doing here um, then the book page said du hast dich verändert was ist passiert you have changed what happened um, and this says alles und nichts, everything and nothing. And there were so many sentences that uh, matched my situation and the experience with this disaster of this journaling card that I decided to take those things and make a little story for the journaling card. <clears throat> and this method um, in a little bit different way is called blackout poetry. So you need a book for that. I have uh, prepared an English book for this video, of course. That was not so easy. I went through my shelf and I have only really a few English books because normally, yeah, when I read books, I read them in German because I can understand what's written there. And it's really hard for me to read in English. And um, even for my junk journal projects, I have really... Only a few English books. Uh, I realized that yesterday, but I found one 
so you can um, take any book that you have or you could also take some single book pages for this blackout poetry thing that I want to show you today. Um, I find it really helpful when you have a whole book because this is a process. Finding words, finding a sentence, a sentiment or a poem, for example, or a whole story um, is much easier when you have more pages and when you can flip through the book um, for me it's easier but of course you can also do that with only a few book pages um, and normally blackout poetry is made like this so you go through the book and you read only a few words i mean you would not start here and read the whole uh, page of the book and whole sentences but you would yeah, throw your eye to the page and catch the word that comes to your eye in the first second. So, for example, here it says his brother and his brother could be a nice start for a sentence. So um, let's try that just on this page. Um, then you can take a, a pencil or something like that. Where is it now? <laughs> Where is it? Ah, here. And you, you can um, mark your words, his brother, um, and then you try to finish the sentence by finding words that um, match the rest and that would make a whole sentence. His brother did... Um, for example, his brother did eat the bread... That's a little bit strange, but that's a sentence that would, of course, not match our journaling card for today. But it could be a sentence that you can use for something else. And now blackout poetry would work like this. You would take a black pen and then you would um, go over everything of this book page except the words that you have chosen so that in the end um, you have a black page and you can all, only read this one sentence his brother did eat the bread and that's all um, that's a method that requires much space of course I mean you would have the whole book page in the end um, that's black and only those uh, words are shown. For my journaling card, I can't do it like this. I need those single words. So I will change this method of blackout poetry a little bit to find my quote. So let's take uh, another page, for example, this one here. And let's see if we can find something that matches this card and that's perhaps a little bit more um, longer and a little bit more poetry. I mean, this sentence before was a sentence, but no, no poem or something like that. Coffee is, for this method, a good idea. <laughs> because if you want to do that, you need a little bit patience. And for me, it's also a little bit... Um, hard because English is not my mother language and to do that in English that this whole thing makes sense in the in the end is really hard for me but I experienced that I really enjoy this pro process it's a little meditation for me <laughs> so let's see what we can find here my friends <clears throat> hmm as much as possible hmm. and I also like to go with a double page sometimes so um, if I realize that I can't find something that jumps to my eye immediately I will not continue um, on this page because um, that can uh, stop your creative and lyric uh, thinking I don't know if that's if that are English words what I'm saying here sorry but I think 
my brain is frozen when I uh, read that and I can't find something that jumps to my eye immediately. It makes no sense to stay on that page because then I made the experience you start reading the whole sentence and that's not what we want to do. So let's jump to another page and let's see if we can find something here. Here it says, and little lies. It's not in the same row here, um, but you could make that together. I mean, you could cut that out and then use it. Uh, I like this. And whew, I don't know why, but this is jumping to my eye. And little lies were... Ooh, screaming through the woods. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's fantastic. And little lies were screaming through the woods. Oh my goodness, that's, isn't that great? That, that is, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um, what else do we have? Can we make that a little bit longer perhaps? Um, oh, here we have something that says, Chattering from tree to tree, leaving leaving the dark green ooh leaving the dark green noisy things ah oh, that's fantastic leaving the dark green noisy things oh, apparently with delight <laughs> and a handful of stones among them, which, which would catch, what are they catching? The sunflower, here is sunflowers, but we can just cut the S, the sunflower seeds. Shall we use gorgeous as well? I don't know. Okay, so when we have those words, we have, and little eyes were screaming through the woods, chattering from tree to tree, leaving the dark green noisy things, apparently with delight, and a handful of stones among them, which would catch the sunflower seeds. Oh my goodness, I'm totally in love with this sentence. Let's take out this page and now, I will, as I said, uh, do it a little bit different than blackout poetry is normally done. So I will just take some scissors and cut out my words. Whew, okay, so don't breath anymore. <laughs> I'm not so sure if I want to have it exactly that like this. And little lies were screaming through the woods, chattering from tree to tree. That's fantastic. Leaving the dark green noisy things, apparently with delight. And a handful of stones among them, which would catch the gorgeous sunflower seeds or which, which would catch the sunflower seeds. I think the word gorgeous is too much for this because... The sentence, um, which would catch the sunflower seeds, already says that it is gorgeous. This whole process that this text explains is some kind of gorgeous for me. Hopefully this makes sense to you. <laughs> I mean, if I read that with my limited English vocabulary and with my, you know, my German um, thinking my German understanding of those English words, then it makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense to you as well. Perhaps I should have asked Barbara or someone, someone else if that makes sense. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm really happy with how that came out, especially because of the color of this book page, of this original book page. I mean, this matches the other colors really, really well. And I'm really happy that this is not too white. I mean, we have much white here on the card and that's a really nice contrast with this more 
brownish paper. But now we have still a little problem because we have to put this card into the journal for Susanna. So um, for my German version of this video, I have made this flip out for the card. And I think I would like to do something really similar. Um, here I have used a page that originally only went until here. So it's a page that's a little bit more narrow. And I think I would like to choose a page uh, here in the back of the journal. I think perhaps this one um, to do something similar with this card to have the possibility to um, put that somewhere here and then we can flip that to the inside or we could put it like that and then flip it to the outside. But this page would be great, but um, this green is a little bit strange for me. It doesn't fit to these colors here. <clears throat> so perhaps uh, we could do it like this so that the card goes into the journal like this. Um, because these colors here would match this way better than um, the other page. So um, the first thing that I need is um, a paper that is really sturdy. And then I'm taking that and just folding that back. Tear that here approximately in the same width than this one is. And now this can go here like this and then we can uh, put the card here like no <laughs> no Louise not like this I've made that wrong in the video uh, for the for in the German video so I don't want to make it wrong again Louise this has to go like this. <laughs> don't mess it up again. Please don't mess it up again. And now I'm taking um, a little piece of fabric to make a little, I think it's called hinge, to hold that together. This is really, really sturdy now and I've already distressed the edges of this little thing. And this little thing will go in here now and it will at the same time become two pockets. So I will take this, open it here where I had folded it, and then I will put it here where it shall go. This. Yeah. Just like this. I'm lifting this up and now I'm putting my glue down here. And clamp that down here until it's dry. Okay, so I will do the same thing on the other side. Hmm. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my glue to dry, I have a little chat with Barbara because I thought I would like to ask her if my little story or this poem makes sense to her um, because you know English is not my mother language for me this totally makes sense but she says that she can't understand it <laughs> so she's just asking me um, if it is making sense in German and for me, it totally makes sense in German. If I translate that, what I have here on my card to German, it totally makes sense. How do you see that? I will blend in a picture of this whole quote. And please let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you. Or if only Barbara isn't understanding it. Um, okay, so um, she's asking me if that that is m making sense in German, so I would just send her a message. So let's see what she's answering and then let's glue the rest of this pocket here. Uh, yeah, I sit here gerade und mache mein Video. 
Ich habe gerade zu meinen Zuschauern gesagt, ähm, dass ich dir geschrieben habe. Also du bist jetzt gerade live hier in meinem Video. Ähm, <lacht> Vorausgesetzt, dieses Video geht jemals online. Für mich macht das total Sinn, wenn ich das auf Deutsch übersetze. Ähm, vielleicht sollte ich echt so eine Instagram-Umfrage machen, ob ich die Einzige bin, die das versteht. Scheißdreck noch einmal. Okay, ich soll jetzt sie. <lacht> oh mein Gott. So, this is dry, I think. Nearly dry. So, I can take off this paper clip. Here, it's glued down uh, already. And here we have a little pocket now. And when we flip that like this, of course, we have to glue it here as well. So that this uh, sticks a little bit already shouldn't stick but it sticks oh that's great okay so perhaps the glue went through Susanna's sewing and already glued uh, this part down here we need a little bit more glue and then when this is completely dry we have something like a double pocket and Barbara has just answered she is saying um, I shall ask you and perhaps she is too stupid to <laughs> to understand it of course you are not stupid barbara but yeah perhaps i don't know i really really don't know <laughs> okay so um i'm just thinking because i did that here on this page as well as you can see uh with my other card here um i made a little mushroom i put a little mushroom here and i've manipulated susanna's collage here by adding another mushroom and part of this die cut that i have uh, teared from another piece here to make these both pages a little bit more cohesive and perhaps we can do that here as well i mean this little whew, this little tuck spot here on the top is screaming put a mushroom here <laughs> isn't it I will clamp that down with this little thing here uh, or better with the bigger one <sighs> let's take this one so that it can dry okay so now you can't see it <laughs> anymore <laughs> but perhaps you want to see some closer pictures of this thing on my instagram then you can of course visit me there or follow me there i would be really happy if we see there again the link is also down below in the description box i'm at luisa heinzel on instagram um, there i will post some detailed pictures of this and yeah let me know in the comments <laughs> what you think about this and if you like it and especially if this little poem make sense to you when you read this please let me know if it makes sense to you <laughs> okay so that was the main cause of this blind date journal um in the next video you will see you will see the dessert of this menu um susanna has written we shall um create um yeah a mixture of flowers all sort of flowers with a vanilla sauce i'm totally lost because i don't know what i will do i have to think about this and find an idea if you want to follow me um how i create this dessert for this menu then please stay tuned subscribe to my channel then you will be um you will get a notification when i upload a new video and yeah see you the next time stay healthy stay creative see you